Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are gonna be solving another mystery. This is a mystery that on the surface level, looks like it might be a simple Easter egg, but there's actually a much bigger backstory here. And today we are going to be investigating the mysterious story of the Barrel Rider. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, the Barrel Rider is an Easter egg or a point of reference that Arthur and John can visit in Red Dead Redemption 2. It's actually at the base of Donner Falls where you will stumble across a lady in a broken red barrel and uh, you can actually inspect it and that point of interest is Barrel Rider. Now Arthur will say, found the remains of some poor bastard woman, tried to go over a waterfall in a barrel, found it interesting, sad I guess, and even more ridiculous life than the one I lead. And John will say, found a dead body in a barrel. Some poor woman, wonder why she did this. Glory, love, stupidity, all three. So they have a couple of different reactions to finding the barrel rider. And once again, on the surface level, you might just assume that this is an Easter egg or it's to a reference like pop culture. However, again, there is a deeper story here. And that's what we're gonna be discussing in this video today. So one can assume, how did the Barrel Rider get here? Well, if we take a look at where they're located, it's obviously at the base of Donner Falls. So I think one can assume that whoever this lady is wearing the blue dress went over the edge of the waterfall, but instead of landing in the water, based on the hole you see in the side of the barrel, I think it's safe to assume that instead of hitting the water, this individual might have hit like the side of a sharp rock puncturing the barrel and obviously doing damage to the structure of the barrel and herself. Now, the reason we know that is the hole on the side, you can see all the pillows are falling out, the support of the barrel doesn't seem like it's holding up all that well. There seems to be blood that you can see not only near the face of the barrel rider, but also sort of underneath the barrel as well. So I think we can assume that this was not a very graceful fall. Let's just say that. Now, if you're interested in checking this out for yourself or you just want to know where it is, it's just to the north of Bacchus Bridge, and obviously we're at the base of Donner Falls, the waterfall in which this lady actually fell from. Now, there's also no way to interact with the barrel rider or the barrel bullets, dynamites, explosives, fire bottles. They have no impact on our poor woman here. So there's no way to change anything like that. Trust me, I already tried. You guys know how my experimentation videos go. If I can light something on fire or shoot it, I try to, and uh, we weren't able to do anything with the barrel rider. Now, after that, I wanted to get more of a close up on who this is. And you can see it looks like a, a young woman and she has blood on her face, which is interesting. Now, there doesn't seem to be any signs of foul play here, like you know, a gunshot wound or a knife wound or anything like that. But apparently the impact was so strong and so significant that it caused, you know, damage to her face. Maybe when she hit, she knocked it on the side and that's what ultimately caused the damage. Now, another thing I tried to do, and I didn't suspect that this was going to work, but I also tried to lasso the lady out, but apparently that's not the case. She is stuck inside of the barrel, so there is no getting her out. Now, something else I found there was that there was writing on the side of the barrel. Now, I wasn't quite sure what to make out of the writing. We'll actually find out what this could be a little bit later on. Uh, I think it was her name and then some sort of like trademark. But again, we'll find out what this is a little bit later on as we dive deeper into the story. Now, a lot of you guys might be wondering what this is based off of. I know some people will say, hey, this is a scene very similar to The Hobbit where they ride in barrels down a waterfall. Well, there's actually a real life comparison here that I think makes a lot more sense, especially given the lady on the inside, what she's wearing, etc. So this point of interest was likely a reference to real life Annie Edison Taylor. Now, Annie Edison Taylor was the first person to survive a trip over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Now, unlike her in-game counterpart, Annie actually survived the stunt with nothing but a small gash on her head, as did a cat who previously made the trip to test the strength of the barrel. Now, what's also interesting about Annie Edison Taylor is she would have been alive during this time. 
She actually lived a very long life. She was born on October 24th, 1838, and died on April 29th, 1921. So she would have been alive during the time of Arthur in 1899 and also for John in 1907. So this was her profession. She's literally known for falling down Niagara Falls in a barrel. And she performed this stunt on her birthday on October 24th, 1901. So she was even a lot older when she did that. And there's also a lot of similarities to the person we see in our game, the barrel rider, and also uh, Annie Edison Taylor. Uh, they both look very similar. And on Annie Edson Taylor's barrel, it says her name, and it also says heroine of Niagara Falls and also queen of the mist. So that might explain why we see some of the writing on the barrel there. Now, here's where things get a little bit interesting because there's actually a bit more of a backstory in which we can figure out here. If you actually go to any of the train stations or post office in game, we can actually see a very interesting poster that reveals more information on who the barrel rider is. So you can see this bright yellow and blue poster over here says Desiree La Flame, I think. The woman without fear over Donner Falls. And then it says the world famous Desiree La Flame risking life and limb going over the terrifying Donner Falls in a barrel. And you can see she's wearing the exact same attire right there. It says Desiree La Flame, and I think it says Queen of, I think, Rapids. That would make the most sense. The only other thing I could see is Queen of the Rapture. Maybe that would explain why she didn't live, but I think Queen of the Rapids makes more sense. So now we know who the actual barrel rider is. It is Desiree La Flame. That is kind of interesting. She's known as the woman without fear, and there's even an advertisement for her stunt on Donner Falls. Now, what I think would have been even cooler is if Rockstar had had an event for this. Like, instead of going to Donner Falls and just seeing the aftermath of what have happened, it would have been cool if we showed up at Donner Falls and we saw her go over the waterfall, and then when we got to the bottom, we saw the remains of what happened. Now, when we were able to put a name to the barrel rider, I wanted to see if she was actually on any of the in-game cigarette cards. I thought that would have been a neat little addition to the game. And I checked in the strategy guide and unfortunately there was nothing. So it looks like she is only remembered based off of this poster right here, which is still pretty cool, but I just wish there was more of a backstory here. So I think this officially solves the mystery of who the uh, barrel rider is and who the barrel rider is based off of. It's Desiree La Flame who went over Donner Falls, it's likely that she, instead of hitting the water or maybe she didn't use her barrel properly enough that they hit a rock or just something went wrong and she ended up dying on impact. And I think the gash that she had on her head is also supposed to be a representation of Annie Edson Taylor, the person who this was entirely based off of. Now, another thing that would have been interesting because based off of the real life story, her manager, whose name was Frank M. Russell, actually stole her barrel and most of her savings was used towards a private detective in order to find it. And it was eventually located in Chicago only to permanently disappear sometime later. So what would have been kind of cool is if you visited as Arthur, that it would, the barrel would be there. But if you visited as John, it wouldn't be there and you had a mystery to solve. That would have been ultra cool, but I guess it would have messed up the point of interest. At this point, I'm just thinking of cool new ways in which Rockstar could have used the time span between what we see in chapters two through six in the epilogue to add more value to, I guess, this Easter egg and this point of interest. But anyways, I definitely recommend that you guys check this out for yourself. It is a really cool point of interest. And in my opinion, it has an awesome backstory. Like on the surface level, you would see, oh, a person died in a barrel going over the waterfalls. But the more you explore, the more you figure out who they are, what their role is in the Red Dead Redemption 2 lore, and also the real life equivalents as well. We, we kind of learned something today and hopefully you got a little bit smarter uh, based off of this. I know I learned something doing some research from this, so hopefully you guys did as well. As always, I'd love to hear your theories, thoughts, opinions, and more on this in the comments down below, so let me know down there. If you guys 
guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.